In October 2017, the third Ecomobility World Festival was officially launched in Kaohsiung City. This is an event initiated by ICALE, Local Governments for Sustainability. It is held every two years in a selected community of a selected host country within a month to let citizens experience the benefits of Ecomobility. As an industrial city, Kaohsiung City hopes to upgrade to a green city. Therefore, it strove to hold the third Ecomobility World Festival. The Kaohsiung City government and Ikale selected Hamasan as the Ecomobility demonstration area, and hopefully, the spirit will expand from Hamasan as the center to other districts to improve Kaohsiung's transportation system and lifestyles. Hamasan was once the first modern district in Kaohsiung City. It enjoys a rich cultural and geographical environment. However, after almost 100 years of development, the streets are narrow, roads are crowded, traffic accidents are frequent, and living environment is declining. Moreover, when Hamasan is developing tourism, a large number of tourists, tour buses, and private vehicles have further aggravated the problems, such as traffic congestion, lack of parking spaces, and air pollution. The Kaohsiung City Government has spent two years developing Hamasan into an eco-mobile neighborhood and put forward three goals. The first is decarbonization. People can walk, drive low-carbon vehicles, or take public transportation instead of driving traditional fuel vehicles to enter the community. The second is downsize of vehicles. Replacing traditional cars with light vehicles will return more space to the community. The last is decrease in speed. Speed limits are set to reduce the speed of traffic and keep the community quiet and traffic safe. The city government has even offered five major free transportation services, including 11 free parking lots outside the area, free community shuttle service, free community logistics service, free Hamasan card public transportation rides, and free green vehicle renting service. The e-scooter sharing renting service is an important step to improve Hamasan traffic, trying to address the issues caused by many scooters, such as air pollution, noises, and overcrowding. Moreover, Taiwan's first e-car sharing system is launched at Hamasan. People can rent and return an e-car through the application. It is expected to cut down on the number of private cars and solve issues such as traffic jams and few parking spots. Apart from the e-scooter and the e-car sharing systems, the city government has offered the Hamasan cards to local residents to experience free public transportation tools, encouraging local residents to take public transportation tools more often and reduce the use of personal vehicles. During this festival, the streets were blocked and cars must be parked in parking lots outside of the quarter. Although local residents could ride scooters, they were strongly advised not to. If residents or shop owners needed to transport goods into the community, they could use the free community logistics service and park their vehicles at the transfer stop. The personnel at the stop would deliver the goods to the destination by green vehicle. The city government also adopted the street blocking measure, along with the street market strategy to encourage people to walk or use public transportation tools and green vehicles to enter Hamasan turning the original vehicle-based roads into a public space with people at its center. This strategy has also successfully promoted local business opportunities. The changes in the roads of Hamasan have not only freed up more spaces for people with disabilities, but also guarantees pedestrians more safety to use the road. After this transformation, the air quality, road congestion, and environmental transformation have all been enhanced. How to use transportation tools in an eco-friendly manner will also bring new opportunities to the future urban planning in Kaohsiung City.